kind of feel like if you call yourself an observer, and you know, somebody goes to the telescope and looks for different objects in the sky, it kind of limits your mind space, right? So you, now you think, well, I can't do the hard theory stuff because I'm an observer and vice versa. I try to keep my feet sort of in every pocket as I can to try and stay nimble. But the, the data set we're excited about at the moment is JWST, of course, like many course. people. That's the, but JWST is touching everybody. everybody. Yeah. Yeah, well, not in that way, but in in the good. Way. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah. You weren't thinking that. What are you, you're the one. You're just okay. I like it though. <laughs> <laughs> so it's infrared data. Yeah, yeah. Of what objects? The observations we're planning in October will be of a Kepler planet, actually called Kepler 167e. Just rolls off the tongue. Why? Why Kepler? Why is it Kepler? Kepler was great for finding cool worlds, actually, because oh. it was very patient. So it stared at the same Kepler's pattern. been dead for 400 years. Not, not Johannes Kepler. That's a good... <laughs> oh, thank you. Okay. We should not be thinking about Johannes Kepler, but the telescope named in his honor... There you go! 